that. It sounded like 90s CGI. Uh, what happened? Where am I? The fuck did you come from? I've already told Matt I'm not going to be blamed for any random wormholes that open in this store. Holy shit. Houdini was right. This ticket even works on digital audio. I'm in book. I'm in the sketch. Yeah, you're in book. Now who the fuck are you and what do you mean by sketch? You were just crying, weren't you? No. Yes, 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 you were. You cry all the time. That's your catchphrase. That's your thing. It's like you're... Did I do that? I don't even have friends. And I'm pretty sure you need an audience to have a catchphrase. Uh, that's me. I'm the audience. I'm a listener. I've been listening. What, have you hacked into Matt's surveillance system? No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. You're a character in a sketch on a local Baltimore podcast played by this guy named Bob. You, uh, I mean, he is my friend in my world. Wait, there's another version of me out there? And he has friends? Yeah, you, I mean, he, does this podcast with his friends, Matt, uh, JD, and his roommate, Huey. He lives with somebody? Who he isn't related to? You know Huey, too. No, oh, wait. Here he's called Barry. Why would Barry be called Huey? You know, even in my world, we have no idea. Look, I don't have time for your worlds. I have a customer to attend to. Oh, a customer? Oh, I'll stand over here out of the way of the traps. I can't wait to see how this guy's gonna die. Welcome to book. Classic Bob greeting. Hi, I was wondering if you had a certain book. Oh, man. It's going to be some ironically titled book written by a celebrity. Would you shut up? <sighs> what book is it? It's called Making Your Face Look Less Like a Nightmare by Willem Dafoe. See? I, I told you. We don't have that book. Hey, Jack Slater, shut up. Actually, I'd be more of a Danny Madigan, but my name's Ian. Shut up! Ugh. We don't have your book. What else do you want? Oh, man. This is where the customer goes too far, and you have to call Matt out to handle the situation that has gotten way out of your hands. What? No, I I'm not trying to cause any trouble here. Yes, yes. Y you have to have something else to say, otherwise this wouldn't be a skit. No, they didn't have my book, so I should be free to leave now. No! You can't leave! Y you didn't come here for just a book. Y you have to have another agenda, because you need to have one. Because you need to facilitate the black comedy of these sketches! Is this true? Do you have something else to say to me? Well, I did really want that book. Yeah, your face is really fucked up. But I really came in to tell you about the good news. <gasps> about our Lord, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's gonna piss Matt off the most! Ugh, fuck. Matt, get out here. What is it, Bob? Don't you realize I was in the back counting retirement dust? Ordering another meteor? Do you get on the pumpkin, too? Oh, did you teach your gorilla how to love? Bob, what the fuck is going on out here? Okay, well, this guy seems to be from some last action hero magic ticket having alternate reality thing. And this guy over here is a customer and also an evangelical Christian. Oh, man! You killed the customer! I can't believe I'm witnessing in this first hand, though that was kind of anticlimactic. God, Matt, usually at least let him talk for a minute. I got no time for Bible thumping while a last action hero situation is happening. Uh, see, the fact that you were okay with an interdimensional movie reference reality jumping situation proves that you are your character. This guy's been predicting everything that has happened the last couple minutes. Oh yeah? So what am I gonna do now, then? <laughs> You're gonna kill me! Probably by releasing the Instant Panther! Aha! Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. I mean the Instant Walrus, now that you replaced it. Wrong again, I'm afraid. I went with the Instant Rhino this time. Oh, shit! That's right! I couldn't have anticipated that accurately, since you could have changed it when you relived the last year of your life to replace Steve and get the human body back. Whoa, 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 Matt, what, what is he talking about? Bob, don't make me fire you! Uh, always threatening unemployment. I don't understand what's going on anymore. Look, I don't know what fucking world you came from, but I bet you still die like a bitch. Oh, fuck. Ticket, get me out of here! You think you've escaped? Nobody escapes me! No man! No child! No warrior! I vow to find you! Mark my words! One day your reality will be mine! I don't understand what he was talking about with all that sketch stuff. Whatever he meant by sketch, it's over now, so... 
So we'll just... Uh, Yeah, you know... You should... Yes, I should, but... Let's wait. We can, uh... How about... I'm gonna go in the back and do... Something. Yeah. And I'll stay out here Mm -hmm. and wait for customers and also cry yeah yeah you do that i don't know why i'm saying this but i'll see you in two weeks